We all know about the magical wizarding world of Harry Potter, but actor Ezra Miller always seems to be bringing a bit of magic into the real world. As much as we're fascinated by his character, Credence Barebone, we have to admit Miller himself is pretty amazing too. Let's take a look at what makes him stand out from the crowd, and we aren't just talking about his fabulous outfits. Before we get started, make sure to click on the subscribe button for more videos from the taco. Now let's dive into the exciting life of Ezra Miller. If you love to follow red carpet fashion, you have to take a look at the amazing outfits Ezra Miller wears. His over-the-top fashion reminds us of something we would see fashion icon Lady Gaga wearing. Unlike many other Hollywood men, he doesn't default to a classic black tuxedo when getting ready for a formal event. We know it's hard, but try not to be distracted by his dazzling costumes, because there is so much more to the story of the famous actor. Before he developed a love of theatre, Ezra Miller received formal training to become an opera singer. He struggled with a speech impediment as a child, and his parents hoped learning to sing would help him overcome his stutter. Hallelujah. In addition to acting, Miller has also performed with the Metropolitan Opera and in the opera White Raven. Although he displayed a great deal of talent at a young age, school was far from easy. His classmates teased him for being attracted to men, and he was the frequent target of bullies. Playing the role of Patrick in The Perks of Being a Wallflower was a challenge, because Miller had been through a similar ordeal in his own youth. He claims a relationship with a close friend turned romantic, but ultimately ended in violence. Sadly, Miller claims this is far from the only time he's been the victim of assault because of his sexual orientation. Needless to say, Miller wasn't exactly sentimental about his high school experience, and ended up dropping out at the age of 16. It might sound a little crazy, but Miller claims he made the decision to leave school because the famous composer Ludwig van Beethoven appeared to him in a dream. Upon losing his hearing, Beethoven struggled with depression, and his sadness resonated with the challenges Miller was facing at the time. Although making life decisions based on dreams might seem odd, the timing worked out in this case. Miller's first film appearance was in the movie After School, and he left his actual school the moment it was released. Becoming an actor is far from easy, and Miller had some additional challenges. He refused to be anything but open and honest about his sexuality, but was quickly informed Formed, this could work against him. Although many people are quick to label him as gay, Miller believes this title to be inaccurate. He prefers the term queer. When I say I'm queer, I'm saying that I think human beings are amazing. And as that he's had romantic relationships with people of various genders, Miller himself doesn't identify as either male or female, and quips that he barely identifies as human. Still, he claims to be fine with people using male pronouns to describe him, despite his non-binary identity. While trying to break into show business, Miller was told his sexuality and identity could work against him. Everyone from acquaintances to directors told him what a mistake he had made, and that it would have been better for him to keep his orientation a secret. In addition to identifying as queer, Miller also identifies as non-monogamous. He's always been open about himself, and this is something which resonates strongly with his many fans. And thankfully, none of this has hindered Miller's career. He's had no shortage of work, including the role of Barry Allen, the Flash, in the DC Extended Universe. Playing a superhero as a member of the LGBTQ community is a big deal right now, but Miller hopes a day will come when it is hardly worth a mention. He claims, it's up to us to manifest the world we want to exist in. And then of course, there's his role as Credence Barebone in the Harry Potter spin-off Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Landing a role in this popular series would be a boon for any actor, but Ezra Miller claims it's been a dream come true. Like many of us, he grew up reading the famous book series by author J.K. Rowling. His one complaint is that his character Credence doesn't wield a wand. According to producer David Heyman, Credence is a metaphor for so many people who are denied the right to be who they are. Needless to say, this was something which really resonated with Miller. And just like Miller, there may be more than meets the eye in Credence's backstory, other than being an obscurial, of course. It's revealed that his real name is Aurelius Dumbledore, making him the long-lost brother of the famous Albus Dumbledore. However, while Credence or Aurelius is known for being rather timid, Ezra Miller is quite the opposite. For a long time, the Harry Potter franchise was pretty uncontroversial. The most common argument was whether or not Harry and Hermione would have made a better couple than Ron and Hermione. But one casting decision in Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, The Crimes of Grindelwald, has caused many fans to become upset. Johnny Depp was facing domestic violence allegations against his ex-wife, Amber Heard, and many questioned the decision to cast him in this movie. According to Ezra Miller, neither he nor any of the other actors were consulted about this controversial casting decision. When asked how he felt about it, Miller was not 
committal, claiming, I would say that literally every single aspect of my reality, inclusive of a lot of things that are not fine with me, are fine with me. During other interviews, Miller has been much more outspoken about abuse in Hollywood. During the Me Too movement, Miller confessed that he had once been taken advantage of by a director when he was underage. He accused the unnamed director of plying him with alcohol and referred to him as a monster. However, he also expressed hopefulness that the toxic culture of Hollywood was changing. He claimed that he knew what happened to him was unacceptable at the time, and he is happy that now other people are recognizing it as well. Despite all that he's been through, Ezra Miller says he has always found comfort in his art. He credits it with saving his life when things were tough, and he looks forward to taking on many other interesting roles in the future. If you're a fan of Ezra Miller, tell us which of his roles was your favorite in the comment section, and what would you like to see Ezra take on in the future? Before you go, make sure to hit the subscribe button to get access to more videos from The Taco. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.